everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Faith and thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Today I'm going to be reviewing and show you guys how to use the Ponyo and also the Buns Bar. Um, I actually seen this video on um, Instagram, like an, an Instagram ad, so I thought I would just try it out. Super um, affordable, so you know, it's only $20 I think for the Ponyo and also the Buns Bar. And as you can see here, I have the Ponyo um, on right now. So on the Instagram ad, it was saying that it makes your pony, your ponytail look a lot cooler. It's supposed to stay secure. It's more comfortable than using it like a ponytail. And also it's supposed to be non-damaging and non-creasing to your hair. And I feel like it does make your ponytail look a little bit more cooler. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I um, put my ponyo in and also how I use the buns bar to create more like a sock bun um, Look kind of like the picture here So guys, let's go ahead and jump into this video This is the pamphlet that you will receive with your ponyo and your bun bar This is going to show you step-by-step -step instructions and photos on how to achieve different looks with the ponyo and buns bar Okay guys, so this is the Ponyo and the bumps on the inside act as grips and also help stop with the amount of creasing. So the first step is you're going to squish it flat. And then step number two is you're gonna bend basically one inch of the ends of it in. And it's gonna tighten and also fan out your hair to make it look a little bit fuller. Once it's in your hair, you can kind of bend the center part. It still keeps it tight, but it just makes it look a little bit more rounded in your hair. Okay guys, so since we went ahead and reviewed those steps, now we're gonna apply the steps to the actual ponytail. So for this one, I'm just gonna do a simple low pony. So what you're gonna do is just brush all your hair back and form the desired look of your ponytail. So after you get all the bumps and everything smoothed out, you're going to take the ponyo over your index finger and your thumb and you're going to feed the hair through the ponyo. And you always wanna make sure to try to keep it as close to your head as you can. And then you're gonna follow step one, which is squishing it down flat. And then step two is curving the sides of the ponyo in by one inch. You can use your thumb when you do this. This really helps to make sure it gets tight. And from there, you can further adjust and squash your, your ponyo to make it a little bit tighter. So this is the look right now with just a low ponytail. Okay, so now we're going to do a high ponytail look. And so what you're gonna do is just gather all your hair up, create your ponytail and the desired look and height of your ponytail. And then we're gonna follow those steps with feeding it through, squishing it flat, and bending each side down by the one inch. So after you get the ponyo in place and secure, you can always kind of tug at your hair to make it a little bit more loose in the front and the sides. And if the ponyo loosens at all, you can always just retighten it and the desired look of the ponytail um, will still be intact. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just test the ponyo to see how secure and the grip strength of it. So I'm just gonna, you know, do a little bit of head banging for a bit and Ellie thinks I'm playing with her. So that's why you see Ellie freaking out. So even after head banging and going crazy, the ponyo still stays in and I think that it's very secure. So overall, I think this product as of right now, so far is definitely doing everything that it says it does. So now I'm gonna show you how to shape the buns bar. So what you'll do is place your hair in between the two bars and then you will bend the edges and then create a circle and you want the circle to be overlapping. And once you get it in your hair, you'll give it a good squash and but it will keep its shape of being like a sock bun. So let's go ahead and pop this into my hair. Okay guys, so I am creating a low sock bun look. So what you'll do is gather all your hair up and fix the edges of your hair of what you want it to look like. You'll take the buns bar and place your ponytail in between the two bars and you will slide this back. I don't like going all the way to the tips because I feel like it causes a lot of tension on the front of my hair. So what you'll do is you'll rotate the bar towards the top of your head and then you'll bend the bars 
down and then create a circle. And then what you do to cover the edges is you're just going to feed your hair around the circle and this is going to create the sock bun look. So after you do this, you can actually take the hair and at it and tug at it and this is going to grow your bun and make it look a little bit bigger and not as elegant as a regular sock bun. Then after this, what you'll do with the remaining hair is you'll just take the hair and loop it and twirl it around the actual bun. With the ends after they're tucked around the actual bun, you can secure them by just smushing the bun's bar down or you can make it super secure by using a bobby pin and holding all of the ends down like that. But after everything is tucked in, you are left with a really nice sock bun look. Okay everybody, so I am going to be creating a half up half down look using the ponyo and this is going to be the last clip for this video i totally forgot to film a thank you for watching clip so guys thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and this video has not been sponsored by ponyo i just really liked it and thought i would share what my thoughts and everything on these products so what I'm doing is just creating a half up half down look. I usually feel like I can't pull off this look because my hair is so so thin but with the ponyo it fans out your hair to make it look a little bit thicker so with this I actually feel like I can totally pull off this look. So what I'm going to do is just take the ponyo and just do the steps that we had talked about earlier. So feed your hair through the ponyo, hold it close to your, your scalp and smush it down to being flat and then you'll just bend the edges in and for this one you can bend a little bit more than the one inch because it's a smaller ponytail um, and then after this after it's all bent and secure you can pull the top of the hair to make it look a little bit more looser but look at this guys it's so pretty and i feel like i can totally pull it off now ah thank you ponyo for making this product i feel like it was made just for me and people with like thinner hair so uh, i am in love with this product this is what it looks like from the side and the back and as you can see my ponytail looks so much fuller than using a traditional ponytail holder the ponytail looks so nice and full and it definitely is not gonna budge and it's gonna stay secure guys i am seriously in love with the ponyo and the bun spar so guys this is going to wrap up this video i'm going to leave the ponyo website link down below i would also love to see if this was helpful to anybody that has been thinking about purchasing the ponyo so leave me a comment down below everybody have a great blessed day and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video